Welcome back to the Malta Man Cave. I'm Keith. I'm Tim. Tonight we are on location in Savannah, Georgia, where I'm on vacation visiting my sister and my brother-in-law, Tim. So we were hanging out. We went to the beach today. That's why we both look... Some some of us look redder than others. Look, <laughs> this is the you, second time I've done a review in the last month where I look like a freaking if you're to see my back, pink pig. Yeah, my, my back looks like a stinking lobster for <laughs> sure. Not not good. So, but, but we're for on location. Uh, you may wonder what location brings us to a dimly lit, almost dungeon looking <laughs> facility here. <laughs> this is not the Malta Man Cave. This is not the Malta Man Cave. Nay, I actually had to move. My minivan, my sweet minivan, by the way, <laughs> we're in a garage. out of the garage where we currently sit for two reasons. <laughs> One, inside, everyone is sleeping, and outside, the frogs and the crickets <laughs> and the and, crocodile and the cro <laughs> gators. <laughs> gators. The gators, gators my bad, not crocodiles, are all making which noise. are alive and well, like a hundred feet in that direction. True, true statement. Uh, but they're all making noise outside, so this is literally the place, uh, the only place where we could be loud enough to not wake anybody up outside and still do a video without being interrupted by the noises outside, <laughs> hence the garage. So we thought we'd bring you uh, Springbank 14 Bourbonwood. Why not? All right, so we're back, and as I said, we're going to be reviewing Springbank 14 Bourbonwood. Everyone knows I love Springbank, kind of a Springbank homer, and actually, got to give a shout out to Scott Monroe. Um, his, his moniker is Kilted Moose um, on Instagram, and I believe on Twitter. Yeah, um, he actually saw this in one of my reviews a couple times. He was like, "Hmm, it's one of his favorites." He's like, "When are you going to be reviewing that Springbank 14 Bourbonwood?" So I actually made it an effort to do this as soon as possible for him. And actually, it needed to be done anyways because it is almost gone. So I wanted to share it with you because Tim, I, I think many people know the story. I, I drank scotch before, you know, we hung out and before you married my, wa my, my wife, my sister. Weird. Mm. <laughs> before you married my sister. Okay. But I, I do have to give credit where credit is due. And Tim did kind of take my, kind of like scotch, kind of like bourbon, and he really got me into scotch because... Did you see, you were talking about the other day, yeah. being an F-16 fighter pilot. I wasn't talking about that. You were talking about that. Being an F-16 fighter pilot and in Utah, right? Yeah. He was stationed. They had this amazing bar for all the fighter pilots. And you got left. What was it? You got, left? got left behind, man. Left they went to they San go? Diego. They went to, they went to Navy North Island, man, and just left me to hold down the fort. <laughs> and so you... Drink like, all the scotch. I, I guess that means I get to drink all the scotch. <laughs> what was your first first love? Uh, uh, what got you started? Lag six? I, no, no. Actually, it was. Uh, forgive me. Uh, it was Glen Levet eighteen. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, for a beginner, scotch is pretty good stuff. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, I still respect it. I, like all the ones like Glen Morangy ten, mm -hmm. Glen Levet twelve. Like I appreciate them because they they started me on my journey. Even yeah. though I don't really like them that much now, yeah. they started me on the journey. No, I'd say it's a. Probably maybe a daily drinker. It's not priced for a daily drinker, but that's about what I would. Anyway, we're not doing a review of Glen yeah. that 18. And for someone that got me into scotch and is a big scotch lover, this dude needs to get some Glen Cairns because tonight we're drinking. <laughs> we're drinking at what? It, what kind of? What? That's a wine glass. What is this? I don't know. Is it another type of wine glass? Sure. We'll go Whatever it is, this is what we're drinking out today. So if our notes are not on point, <laughs> we have an excuse. <laughs> No big deal. I do this to myself all the time. I get a new bottle of whiskey and I get so excited. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, that's the rest of you. Maybe, maybe that was a little bit. <laughs> um, I always get excited. I drink the bottle and I get down here. I'm like, oh, I stink. I got a two review. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're, I think if you remember right, the last time I did a review with you, you asked me for my top five uh, distilleries. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I actually threw Springbank. Wise man. I think it maybe top uh, maybe one or two. I now think, I gotta take credit where it's credit. I of did course, I, I did turn you on to Springbank. Absolutely. Did I absolutely not? I didn't even know Camel Town was a thing until you told me about Springbank and all the other little distilleries there. So funny yeah, thing, we were talking at the pool the other day. Um, and everybody that's a whiskey geek or a whiskey connoisseur, or just somebody who loves loves whiskey will probably know exactly what we're talking about. But he was at a bar and um, 
they actually had Springbank listed <laughs> under an Isla. No. And my sister, his wife, was so upset because he's like, um, actually, that's, I don't know if you know this, but that's not. Well, okay. Like... <laughs> now, full disclosure, it was a Scottish pub. Okay. So yeah. if it was just a regular bar or whatever, okay, I'm not, whatever. But when you label yourself as a Scottish pub and you have Scott, you have the Scotland flag hanging up everywhere. Yeah, you can't. And you have it. about sixty different scotches, you know, hanging from your. Bar. You cannot make. I'm sorry. You can't, you can't make a mistake. You can't do that. So of course I tell I tell the server and Jen is mortified, literally mortified. She's like I cannot believe you just said that. And she was seriously upset with me. It didn't quite ruin the dinner, but it definitely ruined the appetizers. And she she it took her a while to get over it. But <laughs> and I was telling him, but I, I, was right. I, can't, I cannot help myself. Like I know, like when I'm spewing out words i sound like a complete tool and yeah. douchebag yeah. but i can't do it if someone's like saying something dumb about gonna, something that i love yeah. I, I have to tell them if you're gonna take the time to actually break out the yeah. different uh the different regions and mm -hmm. put scotches underneath then get up then do it right you otherwise right. don't don't waste the time don't do it yeah anyway so tonight we're going to be doing Springbank 14 bourbon wood this comes in at 55.8% ABV, it is non-colored and not chill filtered as every spring bank is and every whiskey should be. Um, obviously it's aged in bourbon cast. I actually, normally I do my homework. Let's see what it says on the back, I'm not sure. Um, it's the cast type is fresh and refill bourbon. So some of them are first fill bourbon barrels and some of them are refill, second or third fill. Um, it was distilled in November 2002 and bottled in August of 2017 and there was only 9,000 bottles of this in the world. So and we just finished one of them. Yes, we did. In, um, in wine glasses. Anything else I want to say about this? Um, I don't think so. So without further ado, let's get into some whiskey. What do you got on the nose? It's de definitely sweet, to be sure. Or sweeter. Mm -hmm. um, um, rose. A little bit of rose. Yeah. I don't know if you can... No. There's some floral. Yeah, there's some... Yeah, that's probably the better way to say it, floral. I don't do this very often, so I don't no, have, like, No, but specifically, I can see, like, buttercups or rose, for sure. Both of them, actually. Uh, caramel? Yeah. Probably from the bourbon barrels. <clears throat> Sorry, there's a fly flying around my garage. And, <laughs> and you guys don't know this, if you see these beads of sweat, <laughs> it is so hot in here. It's not that bad. I'm literally it's sweating so, so much right now. You, and, you and I'm sunburned to boot, so I'm like, literally, look at how much I'm sweating. <laughs> I am a little overweight, I know this. <laughs> I need to, I, I've been making, I've been drinking way less and I'm still not losing weight. And I've been eating healthier and working out and it's just not working out for me. You're good. All I'm saying is you're sweating. <laughs> you're sweating good. You get anything else before I, hmm? so I get, oh my word. One of the best notes I've ever had. It's like thick, rich, like vanilla syrup. Like it's syrup. I get the same old. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was about to say I have cut grass, but it's probably because we're sitting <laughs> in my garage. I just caught away from my, my lawn equipment. Yeah, there. we also so, getting sorry. notes of diapers. <laughs> the tra there's a trash can over there of my three year old, almost three year old son. Oh man, <laughs> these Not dirty, poopy diapers. <laughs> <laughs> not the man. Not the Stings the nostrils. <laughs> the pungent. <laughs> you gotta step up your game down here in Savannah, Georgia. Too. I'm oh, not man. bringing my good scotch yeah, out of here anymore. Right? I'm sweating to death. It smells like crap. Maybe we should do what my neighbor did. So, 100% true story. About 30 minutes ago, we're sitting on my back porch, screened in porch. She's kind of, there's a pond maybe about 100 feet away, and where all the frogs are making their noise. And my neighbor, I love my neighbor, but we just hear him step outside and he just goes, Quiet <laughs> to the frogs, to the frogs. <laughs> yelling at the frogs to be quiet. And he it, had no idea we were out there, and they didn't listen. <laughs> they didn't listen, and and he went back inside. <laughs> I can't believe it. we were like, did that just happen? Did he just yell at the frogs? <laughs> just yell at the frogs. He did. So anyway, oh, so I get the same old note that I always get with Spring Bank, which is like underbaked sugar cookies or like dough that's like yeah. not cooked yet. There's some kind of yeah. sugar cookie or sugar cookie dough. Um, there's a little bit of saltiness to it. An interesting one I got, do you remember the old lemon candies that had like powdered sugar on them? Yeah. Lemon candies yeah. and powdered sugar. Yeah. I get that. A weird note, and I've got this on, I've gotten this before, but only one other time. It's like buttery baked potato. I know. 
It's behind all the sweetness from the bourbon <laughs> cask. I know it sounds crazy. And I've only ever said this one other time. I'm so sweating. <laughs> it's so hot. Milk was a bad choice. <laughs> There's no beads of sweat here. It's not like that. Bad. Some of us are overweight. Some of us aren't. <laughs> not all of us can be a bad AF-16 fighter. I haven't flown up to scenes in a while, man. Um, what else do I get? I got a bunch earlier, and now I'm not going to get them because of the poopy diaper over there. <laughs> Do you remember the lemon rock, or not lemon rock? Blueberries, not what your son ate earlier this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do um, you remember the, the rock candies you get on the stick? Yeah. Yeah, did they not have them at the candy store today? Then you go to the Yeah, store? they probably did. Yeah. I, I don't know if I saw them, but it smells like rock candy. Hmm. Like confectionery, so like the lemon. Candies with powdered sugar, and then like rock candy, like vanilla, like the white ones. Definitely vanilla, yeah. There's nothing. Uh, so this is a vanilla bomb. Yeah, there's a lot of vanilla in there. So sure. many good vanilla. Almost like treacle, treacle syrup, like I said, the vanilla syrup. Mm. A little bit of floral, like yep. you said. Yep. Is there anything else? I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know. <laughs> this is not the most ideal smelling note, so we'll. Should we move on to the palette? Indeed. With our wine glasses. Perhaps I should hold it. There we go. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'm sure this is best a review ever. I was gonna, this is a little unconventional for the uh, the Malta Man Cave. That's okay. You gotta mix it up every now and again. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Very good. Mm mm. <laughs> your sound, dude. Your sound effects. You're, you're you're making me choke over here. So much sweat. You're, you're definitely. Yeah. <sighs> Is that from the heat or from the flavor? Both. <laughs> it's hot in here. <laughs> Have you seen the Will Ferrell skit where he comes out? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, his pregnant mother, and he comes out with the umbilical cord. Yeah. It was hot in there! <laughs> That's like a sauna. Like, remember that? Was it, was it the progressive commercial, the insurance commercial? Like, like a sauna. <laughs> yeah, it's no loss. So, on the palate, I get like white chocolate, like a wedding cake with frosting. I get a little bit of chili flakes from the peat. Chili flakes, a little oak. Um, I definitely got the oak. Again, the rich, thick vanilla syrup, like treacle toffee syrup. I actually got some of the sugar cookie, like from the from the nose. Yeah, I, I got a, a little flavor of, of the, the actual sugar. The cookie sugar itself. cookies. Yeah. Are, so do you agree with me? Yeah, it's so for sure. Yeah, and absolutely. I get that in most spring bakes. That's the one thing I love about Brook Laddie and Spring Bake is they both kind of have that yep. sugar cookie or cookie dough note to them. But it's not it's not overly sweet. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? Like some of those some of those ones are just like the, the juice. That's why I love about spring sugar bank. in there because yeah. it's really freaking sweet. That's, That's what I love about spring bank. It's well balanced. It's always balanced. All the sweetness, like from the good cast they use, typically always has some like umami flavors or mm -hmm. oaky or something that balances it out. You can <clears> definitely <throat> taste the oak though, for sure. Um, the, yeah, as you said, I'm just repeating what you said. But yeah, between the the oak that that heavier flavor balanced with that sweeter. Uh, caramel, you know, caramel, uh, caramel, caramel. I don't mm -hmm. know. We, we've been back and forth on a lot of words. Worcestershire, by the way, oh, not Worcestershire. <laughs> That's what I, never, I never said that I knew exactly what it's supposed to be pronounced like. Regardless, uh, yeah. Should we talk about the other three things that I was right on this weekend that what you were, were you right about? Uh, you thinking that leprosy couldn't be cured at all? I didn't think it was. You were right about uh, that. I thought leprosy was like a death sentence. What was the other one? It's the only yeah, one I can remember. Oh, there was two more. That's it. It's all I want to remember. I'm not going to show you up on camera, but we'll talk. We'll take it off camera. <laughs> um, I get oh, peach bellini. It's like, imagine, have you ever had a peach bellini, mm -hmm. a mixed drink? Mm -hmm. So pitch, imagine peach bellini and like you put, add chili flakes to it and a little bit of pepper on the peach bellini. Um, it sounds like it wouldn't work, but it's delicious. Again, well, you just pick up... Um, some hints of, uh, and you probably won't catch the reference, but for those who, who season some of their, their foods, like Tony Sachery's, which is like a, uh, like spice, like a, like a 
type of spice, whatever that, that I keep in my cabinet. I put it in my eggs. I put it on pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. um, but it's peppery with some like some heat in there. It, it makes sense actually what you're saying with some maybe some of the chili flakes, whatever. Um, it's it's hot. I don't know yeah. if it's because I'm really hot right now, but it's got some kick to it, it with the pepper and the chili flakes. But then it's got all the sweetness too, like wedding cake, frosting, vanilla syrup, and sugar sugar cookies. A little like a little bit of like saltiness, just a little bit of salt. It actually um, the uh, what you call it, um, like the vanilla, you know, top, like the vanilla frosting they put on top of sugar cookies. You know mm -hmm. what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, like that. How sweet that is! This um, is a vanilla bomb. Isn't yeah, it's, it's so good. much. Yeah, think but, about but, but forty different types of vanilla. But that vanilla frost, like I love the vanilla frosting. I just yeah. Uh, other than buttercream frosting, vanilla frosting is probably my next favorite, and that has. Sugar cookie plus the frosting. It's pretty good. <laughs> so but, not that, but not as sweet as I'm making it sound. There's something else going on there too. Maybe a little, going back to the nose, there's a little bit of cedar wood on the nose. And I think I'm getting a little bit of cedar. And not in a bad way. I've had like, there's some Lafroigs I've had. Like the, the Karchus that it was almost like I was gnawing on like cedar wood. And it was like too much. This is like a, this is nice. It's just a little bit of cedar wood. Like yeah. you're in a wood shop. <laughs> I'm trying to just yeah. I'm trying, trying to think of wood. cedar wood. Yeah, I'm trying to think of specifically. There's a couple of flavors in there that I'm trying. I'm drawing a blank. Other than that, they're just unique. I mean, we've been drinking. We didn't dry at all. Yeah, we've been drinking scotch for the last couple of nights, <clears> and <throat> this definitely is a, is a unique. Like, then we've even likened a couple of the other ones and said, "Hey, this one tastes like that one." This, this is truly a unique yeah. flavor. It's good uh, for the scotches. Yeah, this is this is really good. You like this better than the long row fourteen cherry that I gave you? Yeah, definitely. I think this might be the favorite one that we've tried all week. Yeah, yeah. Except for teapot dram, that's my go-to. But that's you like the thing. teapot dram better? Than no, this? I'm saying that because you know it's my. That's the nicest bottle I've got. So <laughs> don't want to be shut out. <laughs> no, this is really good. Yeah, this is. Yeah, where do you find this? Because I'd love to get a bottle. Is it, is it it's going to be tough. You're going to probably have to order online if, if you can still find it. You may not be able to find it anymore, unfortunately. Well, then I guess Scott Monroe good. is going to buy it. He probably bought it all up. Well, I guess he loves it. Drink this last, enjoy this last little bit here. Yep. Um, anything else on the palate before we move on to the finish? No. Other than it's really good. Just so much. 40 different types of vanilla. Wedding cake, frosting, mm -hmm. vanilla syrup, sugar cookies. Chili flakes, pepper, peach fellini. Again, I get the lemon candies with a little bit of powdered sugar on it. It almost it, it almost wood. seems like the like uh, the initial the initial flavor I get is the sweet, and then it tapers off to oak or to that wood, you yeah. know, that wood, and then which then would lead to the finish, which I'm sure you're going to talk about next. But it literally, it progresses. It go like it's not for me. It's not all at the same time. The initial hit is that sweet sugar cookie kind of, you know, vanilla icing, and then tapers tapers more towards yep. the, the oak uh, slash, yeah, cedar wood. The last thing I'll say that I get on the palate before we go to finish, um, I just today, and you don't know this, we stopped at that candy store, but we also got ice cream. Oh, did you? Have you ever had a Dole Whip? Yeah. It, I used to live in Hawaii, bro. Dole Whip. There's like, you know, like the... Uh, Pineapple. Uh, it's like I pineapple. lived in Hawaii. I, I went to the Dole Plantation. Well, and I had guess a Dole pit. they were when I was talking about today. Lindsay, I don't think I've, I. Guess, so we did have a Dole Whip there. I forgot <laughs> it was called Dole Whip. But Lindsay was saying, "Oh, Dole Whips because you get them at uh, Disney, which it's not the real Dole Whip. <laughs> you get Dole Whip at the Dole Plantation. Anyway, I get Dole Whip, pineapple ice cream. It's not pineapple ice cream. It's Dole Whip. It's what Dole Whip. Isn't it pineapple flavored ice cream? No, it's still good. <laughs> what do you get on the finish? <laughs> get back at it. What do you get on the finish? Is it long? Is it medium? Is it short? Uh, what notes stand out on the finish? Well, let me let me finish. This guy. Turn on the air conditioning, Tim. I it's would. so hot. I would open the door, but then the frogs are still doing their thing, and nobody would hear anything. <laughs> I'd say it's a medium finish, uh, briny. Yeah, more of the saltiness. Yeah, the, salt, the saltiness definitely stands out with the finish. Um, a little bit more bitterness comes yeah. out. Not a bad way. Like I, I don't. It doesn't ruin it at all. But it's like all like the 
vanilla sugar dough cookies into like the peach bellini, the white chili fix, but then it goes into like a bitter oaky wood, bitter oakiness, yeah. right? Yep. With a little peat. I didn't taste the peat. Uh, it's there a little bit. I definitely tasted the oaky, the in oaky the part of it. And, and that's probably what I was the smoke sometimes incorrectly alluding to yeah. previously when I said it, you know, started sweet and then kind of tapered off to that oak. I think that's, which then leads into that finish of the oak, which then transitions into kind of that, that salty mm -hmm. uh, kind of flavor that I described. Sorry, I'm out. You're, you're still working on it. So whatever. You drink, you drink so fast. I was telling them earlier, like, man, you drink fast. <laughs> um, so I would say medium. Yeah. It's encroaching on long to, for me. Medium to long with all those good flavors. Pretty good stuff, man. I agree, man. Malted Man Cave Mark, out of 100, where would you score this? I'm trying to think of where I score. What did we last? Oh, yeah, we last did Teapot Dram. And I think this one's probably a little better, which is like disgusting for me to say because I love that. But this is really good. This is really, really good. I'd, I'd probably say, I don't know, 92? Yeah. 92 is what I would say. 91, 92. Yeah, 90, I'd say 91. Maybe, I think maybe I, a 93 on certain yeah. nights if I'm well, going up. Yeah, I think that I, dole with pineapple dole up note, that's mixed with like the bitter oakiness and chili flakes. That's really interesting. I want to think I would like it, but it's delicious. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Because uh, I, I think we, I think I had the Buna Hamid 18 at the original. Or at the not the one. new not imposter. The new not the yeah, yeah. Not the new Buna Hamid 18 not, not that the they're trying to Buna pass off as the old Buna yeah. 18. The old one, I, I think we had it in 92. Because that truly is a phenomenal scotch. Gotcha. I think this is right below that. Probably in 91. So I think in 91. Yeah. So here I am kind of backtracking a little bit. Sorry, minus one because it's not Buna Hamid 18. But it's pretty close. It's yeah. really good. I do want to I think I'm going to give it a 91 too. But I'm going to say that this is... Really close to a 92 yeah, or a 93. It's good, man. It's, it's that good. good. I mean, it's anywhere good. from 91 to 93, like, it's right in there somewhere. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm big. But I'll be conservative and give it a 91. So, yeah. question of the night, which we always do at the Malted Man Cave. Um, the last time you were on the show, we had a question about who was going to win yep. um, the Super Bowl. And That's our man, right. Tim, as much as it pains me to say... You were right on multiple levels, right? That's right. Yeah. Not only Not, did you pick the Super Bowl winner, which was New England, yeah. you also which, said, oh by the way, when we when you asked the question, they were in their mid season funk, and they were definitely not the front runners. Yeah, yeah. And I said, nope. But still and, the, and also though, to not give you too much credit, New England kind of goes to that funk a lot. It's true, and it is New England, so it's kind of. But like, they were especially in that funk, yeah, more so than usual. I would say. There's I mean, Patrick country. Mahomes and Kansas City Chiefs are kind of the hotness. The Rams were the hotness at the time. Yeah. So I do feel pretty good actually about yeah, that. You know, it was the Patriots. It's easy to pick the Patriots, admittedly. But I was also right when you said, what about your New Orleans yeah, Saints? Because I said, he's from New Orleans. I'm, I'm a Saints fan. And I said, nope, the Saints are not going to make it. Something bad's going to happen to them on the way there. And I was right on that. Unfortunately, right on that account as well. Still cuts me. Yeah, on a scale of 0 to 10, how upset are you about that? You know, I'm still actually kind of lingering at an 8. Lingering yeah, at an 8. That's yeah, not That's yeah. a while ago. I'm lingering. We're about to start football it's, again. It's simmering, man. It I'm not going to lie. I was very upset, too, for it. Because... I like Drew Brees. Drew, wow, I can't talk. I like Drew Brees, and of course, he's a big time quarterback. Yeah, exactly. And he's a class act. Class act, good and dude. That was his best chance to get another one. Yeah, I think that ship sailed, which leads then to and he they they, they I think they're the best team in football. At they least were. They, I think they, they were, were last year. Yeah, but the New England Patriots fans would say, "Oh, but we got the Super Bowl," and they're absolutely right because I called it. Yeah. So hot takes for this year. Uh, so, so the, so the question is, what's the hot take for the year, and also who's going to win the Super Bowl? It, it, okay, so while I said that I'm a Saints fan, and I really, really hope that my fellow Saints fans don't see this, uh, this, this little review here, because <laughs> I actually don't think that the Saints are going to make it to the playoffs this year. Not even a playoff. I don't even think they're going to make the playoffs. Playoff. I, who's talking playoffs? playoffs? Talking playoffs. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think that um, if you look at. So one, I think that they're probably gonna have a hard time with getting over the loss from last year. That's that's more subjective thing. An objective thing is that we did not sign Mark Ingram, and you could say he's not back. Won. No, he went to Baltimore. They replaced him with Latavius Murray from Minnesota. When when you look at it, so they just need to give they just need to give the ball to Alan Kamara. Yeah, yeah, but he's he is a little bit slight in, in build. He's just he's, and a he's not a, he's not a, a, a Zeke, and mm -hmm. I'm not a big Zeke fan. But the guy can take a beat and just keep on going. That's not Alvin Kamara's style. Yeah. So they replaced him with Latavius Murray, who 
you know, yards per carry average is about the same, but there's something to be said for Mark Ingram having been in that offense with Drew Brees for the entirety of his career. He just, it's familiarity. You understand what they're doing. Where is he, Mark Ingram? He where went to Baltimore. Baltimore. He signed with the, the Ravens. Oh, great. Yeah, so I, so I think that's going to hurt him a lot. Now, they did pick up Jerry Cook, so they, they kind of picked up that middle, uh, that middle of the field threat, you know, for the tight end position yeah. they've been lacking for a while. But he I came from Oakland, think, right? He did. But I just... It's not it has less to do with the Saints and more to do with what I think is going on with both Carolina and Atlanta. We forget that just a few years ago, Cam Newton was the MVP of the league and they went to the Super Bowl. Yes, I know they lost a lot of players, but if you look at their line or at, at their both their offensive and defensive lines, they're actually sitting pretty good. Yeah, really, who's that? Who's that white scat back? Uh, McCaffrey. Yeah, and I think he's going to step it up. In he's his ridiculous second, in his second year. Yeah, even he's better. third year. He's a he came, he came out the same year as Kamara. Wow. Um, but my player. point is, is that that you, it's a hot take. Admittedly, it's a hot take. So <laughs> it, it could go any any which way. But I actually do not think my Saints are going to make the uh, make the playoffs. Uh, and then as far as Super Bowl picks, and I, I you know I can't even say it because I don't want to because I cannot Atlanta. Give, I cannot give Atlanta credit for anything ever. I hate the Falcons with everything. I can't need. believe you think they're going to be that good. Dude, good they team, lost a lot on their defense last year in regards to injuries. To, yeah, to injuries. And most of their defense is former LSU players. So it's not like I'm completely siding with Atlanta here. I choose to look at it as I'm siding with my LSU Tigers. And most of the LSU Tigers actually play defense for the Atlanta Falcons. So I don't really feel bad for rooting for those their players. Suck, though. I, yeah, I know. But GBU is Ohio State, not LSU. Get, get out of here with that garbage. Yeah. Um, Look at your New Orleans team. They sure seem pretty high in the Ohio State play. Our, our pass defense was not that good. Oh, get out of here. They but but really they good. have Calvin Ridley. Really they have Julio Jones. They have Devontae Freeman. Matt Ryan. He's not Matty Ice. Whoever keeps saying that, please stop. He's not that good. He's not bad, but he's not. He, he's top 10, but he's not. He's not Drew Brees, Tom Brady, nor really ever be. But I think that they have the right ingredients. Um, I think that actually, unfortunately, I think Atlanta is actually going to win the Super Bowl this year. And it, 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 seriously, it, I kind of want to throw up after having said that because I really hate the dirty birds. But I think that's what's going to happen. So there you go. That's my long-winded, I know, that's my long-winded hot take and winner for this year. So my, I'm going to give the hottest of the hottest take and I'm going to go be a complete homer in my in-state team and say, Browns for the Super Bowl, baby. I hated Baker Mayfield in college, but I got to be honest with you. Everybody's He's a, on the Browns train. Dude, well, this is why. Their defense last year was really good. pretty good, yeah. Top five in mm-hmm. the NFL, in my opinion. Then you add Kareem Hunt, yeah. who, even though he, you know, he's a wife, a woman beater and all the shady shenanigans, he's a good running back. If Odell Beckham, though, here's the, the whole entire key to this. If Odell Beckham can get his drama divinous under control, and he can just, you know what, I'm going to prove everybody wrong that I'm a great player and I'm not like a diva. And I'm not going to. That's a big F, man. That's a big and he's, F. Speaking of, a tiger, an LSU and, tiger. And, and Jarvis Landry. Was, was he like that in college? No. Odell Beckham? Oh, well, as a fan, I, it, it wasn't. I mean, he may have been like that on campus. I don't know. I'm, but, I'm 40 years old. But man. You I didn't see college see that on campus. Years. Years. No. Mm-hmm. OBJ? Mm-hmm. We knew he'd be good. But honestly, I kind of thought it'd be a toss-up between he and Jarvis Landry because they were playing at the same time. And Jarvis Landry had some really big catches. And he's good, yeah. but he's not OBJ good. Um, OBJ had some really big plays in college, but I think it was more a function of he didn't have a right throwing it to him. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it's not a – I don't know if it's a hot – I mean, I, th- I feel like that takes really not that hot because a lot of people are kind of on the Browns bandwagon right now. And let me talk about Baker Mayfield for a while. I despised him after what he did to the Ohio State planting the flag. Yeah. But I and here's the thing. I would have respected him a little bit more if he would have done planted the flag on the, the block O mm-hmm. at Ohio State if all the Ohio State Buckeyes were still there. But they were all in the in the locker room already. And okay. then he did. Well, then you just call him smart at that point. <laughs> right? So or, he's, or a coward to be doing something that brazen. So we're all watching in the state of Ohio, and we have no one to defend our honor because all of our players in the locker room, and then he does that shenanigans. You, you know how so, you defend your honor? You win. <laughs> you win. That's got, how you do it. We got some pretty bad calls that game. But I you digress. Win. But anyways, um, dude, he's got the it factor. And he does. 
With but all his shenanigans, the, the locker room seems to have like galvanized around him. They seem. I to still think him. Pittsburgh's going to be a tough out though, in that own in their own division <laughs> without Le'Veon Bell or Antonio Brown, and with Ben. How is Roethlisberger like forty six now? Like he, how old he's is he? younger than Breeze. He's like fifty. He's younger than Breeze. I'm fifty. I'm I'm telling you, there's something. Look, man, they they got rid of Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell. That might actually be a good thing. I'm I mean, I, I agree that a tough out. the the egos, having those egos gone, but just that's a lot of talent. You forget, this. though, that Cleveland also has a rookie Ooh. head coach, yeah. which I got it. You know, I mean, mm. that, that doesn't necessarily mean I said it, was, thing, I said it was the hottest, was the hottest of the hot takes. I don't know that. Yes. Okay, I'll give you that. Fine. I'm not the gonna, hottest I'm, of the hot I'm take. Not gonna, I think the hottest of the hot takes would be if, like, Tampa Bay is going to win the Super Bowl. Yeah. Like, okay, that's, that's I'm really, a, or Arizona. Yeah. Or, or, or that Josh Rosen's gonna win, you know, MVP. Josh yeah, yeah, that that's a hot hottest of the hot takes. That's the hottest of the hot takes. It's also yeah, anyway. So Browns, the Dirty Birds, Atlanta Falcons over here, and the Saints aren't gonna make the playoffs, huh? That's that's sad. But I hope I'm wrong. I truly hope with everything in me I'm wrong. I just don't think I am. We shall see. We shall. So thank you guys for joining. Um, please like, subscribe. Tim, thanks for having me. Thanks yep. for letting me stay. Next time we do this, it will not be in it's my so, garage. Uh, I'm actually not. It's, it's starting to cool off a little bit. What's going on? Nothing's changed. Literally nothing's changed. I've just finally acclimated to the, <laughs> the southern one. I've lost 20 pounds as we're sitting here, so now I'm not fat anymore. <laughs> You're just not thinking about it. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining. Please like, subscribe, and as always, 